Welcome to Sobcast. I am your host, Jeff, and I am a Sob, or seeker of Veritas. Veritas meaning truth. This time in Wait What? There's good news? The EPA finally bans all uses of asbestos in the U.S. Then, in hard thrusting news, Texas restricts access to Prawn Hub. The House passes a bill that could lead to a TikTok ban, and coincidentally, Texans? Texians? Cordite sexuals. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, searches for VPNs in Texas have gone up 400%. Then, an elementary graduate, you'll never guess who Exxon Chief says to blame for climate failures. Then, in Oedipal Earth, fossil fuel subsidies surge. Then, in Cool's hit, scientists use AI to design antibodies from scratch. Then, in N3 News, a terrifying monster stalks the streets. Wait, <clears throat> let me, let me, I gotta do that proper. Hold on. <clears throat> a terrifying monster stalks the streets of Japan. Then, in Darwin Weeps, a Florida man hands a deputy something strange during the traffic stop. But first, from unusualwales.com. Boeing whistleblower John Barnett was planning to drive home to Louisiana after his deposition on Friday, March 8th, before Boeing lawyers asked him to stay one more day to finish his testimony. His body was found the next morning. Please know something you can do. I feel happy. I feel happy. Oh, green, green, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Oh. A close family friend of Barnett says he predicted he might wind up dead, that a story could surface that he killed himself. But he told her... Don't believe it. Well known for his vocal concerns regarding the company's production standards, John Barnett, who had worked for Boeing for 32 years until his recent retirement in 2017, was discovered deceased in the days following his testimony in a whistleblower lawsuit against the company. Boeing expresses sadness. Maniacal laugh. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. <laughs> At Mr. Barnett's passing confirmed by the Charleston County coroner as resulting from a self-inflicted wound on March 9th. The story could surface that he killed himself, but he told her, don't believe it. Authorities are currently investigating the circumstances surrounding his death. During his tenure at Boeing's North Charleston plant, where he served as a quality manager for the 787 Dreamliner, Barnett raised alarms about workers fitting aircraft with substandard parts deliberately, potentially compromising safety. He also highlighted serious issues with oxygen systems, indicating that a significant percentage of emergency masks might fail to function correctly. Despite bringing these concerns to the attention of management, Barnett claimed no action was taken. Boeing, however, denied his allegations. Don't believe it. Nevertheless, a 2017 Federal Aviation Administration, or FFA, no, that's Future Farmers of America. I'm from the country, y'all. FAA review backed up some of Barnett's claims, prompting Boeing to address certain deficiencies. Following his retirement, Barnett pursued legal action against Boeing, alleging defamation and career impediments due to his whistleblowing. At the time of his death, he was in Charleston for legal matters relating to this case. The story could surface that he killed himself, but he told her, don't believe it, 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 don't believe it.